Hi, I'm Carol Slager, pharmacist, lifestyle blogger, health coach, and I write for Get Healthy Magazine. Today we're talking about the Allium family, which includes onions. When I think about making any kind of recipe, if we didn't have the Allium family, I think things would taste pretty blah and boring. So I have this leek here, and I've cut off the big thick tops, and I've, I've left the little bottom part intact, otherwise it falls apart. So I left a lot of the white and the green, and I cut these lengthwise. I'm going to actually caramelize them and then braise them in the skillet so they're nice and tender. Before I put these in the skillet, I'm going to season them. I've mixed together a little sugar, salt, and black pepper. And the sugar is what helps give it that little caramelization, so it's not very much at all. It has a nice little flavor. And if your leeks are, let's say they're really long, you can cut them in half again so that they fit in your skillet better. Take our leeks and with the seasoned side, the flat side, we're going to put that down. Obviously, I got the oil and nice and hot. I used avocado oil because I have a little higher temperature today. And that withstands the, the heat. The leeks are finished getting caramelized. If you can see, they're, they're a little bit brown here on the flat side that we put down. Now that we want them to get tender, because they would be a little chewy at this point still, what I'm adding now is uh, about a quarter cup of vegetable broth and a quarter cup of dry vermouth, or you could use white wine, or you could use all vegetable broth or even chicken broth. That's totally up to you. You do need some liquid with a little flavor so that they'll kind of, they'll cook well. A teaspoon of dried thyme an extra little squeeze of lemon. Now we're going to cover this and let it simmer for, oh, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, depending um, till they're tender, till I can stick a fork in it and it, it's soft. We have our cooked leeks. As you can see, they're tender. That's what you'd like. To finish it all off, I like to put a little dill. Again, if I had fresh, fresh is beautiful. I don't today. So I'm using dried, which is fine. And I'm sprinkling, sprinkling some goat cheese on the top to make it extra delicious and yummy. You could use feta cheese. You could use, if you had fresh mozzarella, whatever you like. You don't even need to put cheese on it. I just think it's a nice touch. And there we have our braised leeks. I think see how they turned out. A little cheese. Mm. Oh yeah. You want to make this. 